Hi guys! I have another empties video for you. If you haven't seen my other ones, I will link them elsewhere. This is basically just a video where I show you my trash so that you can see the products I actually liked enough to go through and would I repurchase them. So I'm kind of obsessed with face masks in general and sheet masks have totally been my jam lately. Okay, I got almost all of these from Crystal Boxes. I also have lots of reviews of Crystal Box, which is an amazing subscription box. I absolutely love it. And also, I hear that they are coming out with a new one that is less expensive, so that's exciting. Hopefully, I will get one of those and review that for you. All right, so anyway, back to the masks. I have this panda one that actually looked like a panda. It was cute. It was okay. It wasn't super great, but I liked it. This one, another hydrating mask. I don't even know the name of it. I really liked all of these, especially... was it this one? This one was really good, and this one I think was my favorite, the Chaldook, Chal, Chaldook one. I don't know, just super hydrating, really wonderful, loved them. And then this one is from SK2. This one was really nice as well, although I didn't find it to be super duper amazing, any more so than the other ones. But those were all really great and fun and wonderful and hydrating. So this is my Julep Love Your Bare Face Hydrating Cleansing Oil. I have gone through so many of these. I love them, I continue to buy them. It's just a great makeup removing cleanser. You can use this alone if you want to, but I usually go in with a regular face wash after this. This I basically just use to remove my makeup. It has a great simple ingredient list. It's really gentle and wonderful for your skin. Love it, love it, love it. This is the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. This is so great for sensitive skin. It does a really good job of cleaning without stripping your face. I really, really like this cleanser. In fact, I was just about to repurchase this cleanser when I was talked into getting another one by one of the salespeople at Sephora. I will talk about that in another video, but this is a fabulous cleanser. I believe this was my second tube. It's great, I love it. I would highly recommend it if you have really sensitive skin. This is from ASDM Beverly Hills. This is the Intensive vitamin C repair serum. I really liked this serum and then I took it on vacation with me up to Lake Arrowhead and the altitude change, the pressure broke the bottle. The pump no longer works and there's really only a tiny bit left in there anyway, but I really did like this serum. I have a bunch of other vitamin C serums that I'm trying out, but otherwise I would totally repurchase this because I very much enjoyed it. Another ASDM Beverly Hills. This is actually from the Natural Green brand and this is the Tepez Cahute cream? I think that's how you say that. I loved this cream. I almost repurchased it, but then I got an influx of other face creams to try out. That's a problem. I almost never get to repurchase things because then I'm always trying something new. But I really did love this. I thought that it was great. Very hydrating. It worked well for my sensitive skin, but I still felt like it was working to both soothe and heal and also, you know, has anti-aging properties. This is a really nice nightly cream. This is from Burt's Bees. This is the Extra Energizing Citrus and Ginger Body Wash. Colin mostly used this one. It's just a nice shower gel and it smells really nice. It's kind of a sweet grapefruity scent. I really liked this. I finally finished my Porador shampoo and conditioner. I have a whole review on these, which I will link for you. This is actually a hair loss prevention therapy shampoo and a healing conditioner. I don't really have an issue with hair loss, but I do have a really sensitive scalp and it tends to get really itchy. And I just felt like this did a really good job of taking care of my scalp and healing whatever issues. I didn't have any flakiness or itchiness the whole time that I was using this. This smells really great. It's a lavender vanilla scent. It's more of a lightweight conditioner and I thought that it paired really well with this shampoo. I do have a couple other shampoos that I want to use up before I buy more but I probably will end up repurchasing these. I have another La Vanilla deodorant that I used up. This one is the vanilla lemon scent which is one of my favorites. In fact I just repurchased the lemon and the grapefruit. I just did a review on native deodorant which I really liked and I thought that it did a great job but eventually the baking soda started irritating my skin so I still use that one but only on occasion. I use my La Vanilla on a daily basis just because this is better on my sensitive skin. Plus I just really love the way they smell. I just talked about these Tada drops from Julep. These are quick drying nail drops and these were out of stock for so long and they finally restocked them so you can get these again. They smell kind of like licorice and you just put a drop on your nails and it helps them dry quickly plus it helps soften your cuticles and everything. I love these. They're fabulous. This is a Lancome concealer. I don't even know how to say this, but I will write it down below. Fantastic, very full coverage concealer. It could get a little bit dry on me. I do have dry skin. Maybe it would be better for oily skin, but it is a nice 
full coverage concealer. So used that baby up, but I don't think that I would repurchase it. And then this one, I'm so sad about. This is my YSL, what is this called? Like sheer candy volupt. It's basically a tinted lip balm, and this is in the color Iced Plum. The most beautiful pinky lavender color. Oh my gosh, I love this so much, and it just feels so nice on your lips. It's so hydrating, and it always makes my lips look super plump and healthy, and I just love this. It is heinously expensive for a tinted lip balm, but I love, love, love it, and I'm so sad that I ran out of it. I don't think that I will repurchase this, but I keep trying to find a dupe for it. I don't know. Another lip product that I zoomed right through, I got this for Christmas. This is from MAC, and this is Mojo Maker, and this is another tinted lip balm, essentially, and it's just a really nice neutral brown color that I found to be really flattering, and it felt really nice on my lips. It wasn't too shiny, but it was nice and hydrating. I don't know. I really, really like this. Oh, and then this guy is from Julep. This is a cognac sponge. I'm a huge fan of cognac sponges. I just think that they're so nice. They're so soft and gentle. I usually use these after using my cleansing oil just to get the excess oil and makeup off. I, I just really love these. I think that they're awesome. And that completes this empties. And as always, all of the products that I mentioned, plus any of the videos that I talked about, I will link all of those in the description box down below. I always have lots of good information down there for you. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!